Well, hey guys, how are we doing today? It's a beautiful day out. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that shows that I am home, if you're wondering. It's about 70 yeah. degrees out, sun shining. We have big plans today, don't we, Tater? Yes, we do. We gotta get the mower up and running. It's running, but I'm just gonna give it a little tune up, get it ready for the season. Tater's gonna take our swing set down, our swings, and she's gonna put a bench there. Yeah, you know it. I got the muscles. For she wants a swinging bench, and oh, apparently man. Warden got one from her mom. So we're gonna we're I'm gonna let her do most of that. I really don't want to do any of it. So I'm not a supporter. I, I I like my swings. She just want me to stay tiny. Yeah, I just want them to stay small. Well, you've seen it at the beginning. I think I'm gonna start my hobby today. We're gonna put the hobby right there, all throughout there, because I'm gonna put the kids' playhouse, well, what used to be the kids' playhouse, I'm going to put it right there. It's now a tool shed, or it's now a gardening shed, it's not a playhouse anymore, so we're going to move it over to there. If you haven't guessed it yet, my hobby's going to be, what's my hobby going to be? Gardening! Gardening. And I'm not allowed to plant anything in the ground until May 10th. May 10th is what everybody's telling me. And the friend of mine that got me started into it, she uh, she gave me all the seeds and everything. Number one gardening rule is when you get seeds, plant them right away. Because I'm going to have to wait for those seeds to do it next year. And I'm going to have to go to a greenhouse and buy the actual started plants. Because I've waited too long already. So we're just going to get the plants after May, I guess. So... You're riding my dog. Yeah, I am. So what that means is we're just going to till the ground up, get it leveled out, get it ready to go. So it's ready after May. All right. Well, me talking to the camera isn't getting anything done, so let's go get some stuff done. We're going to start off with tater top putting up the bench probably, then we'll get to tilling. <laughs> Kids. All right. Okay. What are we working on today, Tater Ty? We're gonna put a bench swing. A bench swing? Mm -hmm. So my two kids have graduated out. They don't want swings anymore. They want a big bench there. Yeah. Leave that open. They gotta leave it open. Oh, okay. Yeah. Swings make me dizzy. And swings make Troy you dizzy. Never comes outside. Troy never comes outside. <laughs> And I took over the, the neighborhood. Feeling blessed. Never blessed. And the sunshine on the sun of a est. Whoop! This is the background music for this clip. Enjoy it. Well, I guess a good question to ask somebody is how deep do you go with a garden? Warden over here says her old man used to go really deep with it, so I think that's just what we're going to do. Right, Warden? Sure. If you're wondering why I'm tilling this up where the shed's going to go, it's because I want to level it out real good to put the shed there. All right, well, let's get back at it. You going to do it, little bud? What? You going to till? No, no. Don't get my food off. Okay. First, we better fill in a few holes.
Yeah, concrete slabs. And then we have this one I don't know if I can pick up. And then here we have a big, huge one. <sighs> and as you can see, Jack's back there. He just wants to lay in that fresh dirt because it's nice and cool. But I think that's as deep as I'm going to go with the with the tiller. I hope it's deep enough. You guys will let me know if it's deep enough or not. But if I keep going any deeper, see our old house. Our old house was not as tall as this one, but it was longer than this one. And I don't want to dig up the old foundation because there is parts where it's still there. We're going to keep going. Well, guys, we got that done. We got our garden set up over there. We got a nice pad leveled off where we're going to move. The kids' playhouse, which isn't a playhouse anymore. It is now our uh, tool shed. You know, I keep all my lawn tools in there. Um, what else? We got the swing put up. Replace the swings. Man, that's a hard pill to swallow. My kids are getting old enough now to where I guess they don't want to swing. I think what I'm going to do now is pick everything up, put everything away, because I have tools laying everywhere. We have the toys are out. You know, we got the mower setting out. We did get the mower done. We got the mower up and running. Tater helped me out with that. Troy helped me out with the garden. We're doing good. I'm going to throw some steaks on the grill. We're going to eat some meat. And I think it's going to be a good night for a walk. What do you think, Tater? Think it's going to be a good night for a walk after supper? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'll talk to you guys a little bit later on. guys guess what it's a new day this right here used to be the kids playhouse grandpa built that for them oh a lot of years ago instead of a playhouse since they have outgrown it I'm going to move it over to what I'm calling my garden now once we get it moved over here I'm gonna use it as a garden shed for my new hobby we're gonna set it right there right beside the garden I'll explain that door later. Let's get this started. My dad built it. We know how my dad builds stuff. It's rock solid usually, so...
Well, it's moved over there. You see it there? It's got some stuff to do to it. I mean, it's not done. I mean, you see that railing on there? I'm going to take the railing off. You know, i got to fill all that dirt in right there yet. That's enough for this weekend. We go back to work, and we'll worry about it next weekend. It does look a little bare right there without the... Uh, Without the playhouse there. I guess it's not a playhouse anymore. It's a gardening shed. I swear they do like each other. But that bare spot right there has a plan. I'm not going to tell you what that plan is yet. I'll let the kids tell you. I think they're going to be excited about it. Other than that, guys, we're going to call that a weekend. I'll talk to you back out on the road. Be happy, healthy, and safe.